as you heard in Paula's report, animals in California's iconic Yosemite National Park have certainly been taking advantage of the absence of tourists. I want to show you some of these stunning photos from the LA Times. They show the usually crowded park now completely empty. And as you can see, it's also allowing some curious animals to check out the, the tourist spots for themselves. Well, Carolyn Cole is the Pulitzer Prize winning LA Times photographer behind those really striking images. And she joins me now from Oakland, California. Great to have you. Those are such amazing pictures. They're powerful and they mean so much right now. What were you hoping to convey by going to Yosemite right now? Well, I felt very fortunate to get permission to go into Yosemite. Um, permission had to come from Washington, D.C., and it took a few days. But I felt a real responsibility just to show people what was happening inside the park and the beauty of it. And um, I remember going there as a young child um, and remembering how crowded it was, the parking lots and um, the stairs up to the falls. And at this time, it was just completely peaceful. So I was hoping to capture the sights and sounds of the park with no people in it. Yeah, you certainly did, and a lot of your images, and I know they're more, uh, you know, that you have the contrast between the big waterfalls, the big sky, uh, the mountains, versus the small, the bobcats and the squirrels. There's a beautiful contrast between how nature, you know, in all its sizes, is enjoying this. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm not a wildlife photographer or a, or a, a landscape photographer, but um, I did the best I could in the limited time that I had. I got into the park around 7 a.m. and I just tried to hit all of the major spots, um, El Capitan at sunrise and um, Yosemite Falls, um, Mirror Lake. And um, then I was particularly looking for animals and I felt very lucky to have seen a, a small bobcat um, very close to the visitor center, the main visitor center. And so I followed it for a little while and was able to capture a good picture of it. Um, and I did see a couple of coyotes um, wandering through Curry Village uh, campsite, uh, and I followed him for a while. Um, so I felt very lucky to get what I did. Unfortunately, I didn't see any bears um, my, during my time there, but I know there have been a lot more sightings in the, in the valley. Yeah, they certainly have. I mean, just to get El Capitan and the sunrise against that must have been extraordinarily powerful. What did it feel like, uh, in, in, you know, you alone in many ways with the animals roaming around? Uh, they are unfettered, you are outnumbered, which is, is not the way it usually is. Well, what was the feeling I, like? I, it's awe-inspiring. It's so big and you feel so small within the walls of the Yosemite Valley. Um, and it was completely peaceful. Um, you could hear the waterfalls, you could hear the birds, um, the wind in the trees. Um, it was just spectacular. There are some people that live in the valley full time, some of the concession workers, and of course some of the park rangers are, that are there during the day. So I wasn't there alone, but it was certainly a wonderful experience to, uh, to have. Yeah, and I think some of your photos also show that, you know, whether it's hotel workers or the guides, I mean, a lot of adventurers, a lot of livelihoods have been lost. Uh, it's not just the tourists who are not there. A lot of people whose lives were connected with, uh, with Yosemite ha have certainly felt the pinch of this. And, and you, you also showed that. Well, I think people are craving the outdoors and craving nature. And so I'm currently on a trip around California um, uh, doing stories about the coronavirus all over the state and I've noticed that people are really attracted to, this, to the stories that we have about nature and um, so we've done some stories about uh, the forest industry up in up, upstate California um, we just recently did a story about the bats um, and their connection with the coronavirus so I think people are really craving nature at this time yeah, particularly because many people are sort of locked behind doors and just seeing those images, even if they, they weren't there, gives you a feeling of just the, the awe-inspiring, powerfulness of nature. Which is your favorite photograph? Oh, well, I particularly like the bobcat. Yeah. Um, that's not an easy picture to get, and I was very surprised that it allowed me to get within about 10 feet of it um, as it was hunting for mice and rodents. So I was, uh, I was very pleased with that picture, and, and also the coyote. I think they're just very calm right now because there are no people in the park and um, they weren't intimidated by me being there. Um, I know that coyotes sometimes get fed by, by uh, people in the park, so I think that's why I was, uh, was lucky to get these images. Lucky and, and thank you for sharing, uh, sharing them. I mean, I think it's made all of our day. Carolyn Cole, a photographer, coming to us there from Oakland, California. Thank you. Thank you very much.